You know, a lot of people talk about Shirgao, like it's the next Bali. There are similarities. There's the palm trees, there's the jungles, there's the beaches. But you know, having been to both places, I don't think these islands are that much similar to each other. And after spending the last six weeks here, I think I like Shirgao a lot more than I like Bali. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the highlights of Shirgao and some of the cool things you can do. So it's 11.30 a.m. right now, and I'm on the very southeastern edge of Shirgao in this neighborhood called Katangnan, where I've been for the last six weeks almost while I've been editing all these videos from Manila. But today, for the first time, I'm actually gonna leave this area and try to explore like a bit more of the island. But before that, I wanna show you guys my favorite part about this neighborhood. Hello. Hello, Scoops. Hello, Scoops. Can we? wake you up. <laughs> so as cute as those puppies are now, I swear they were like literally a third of the size when I came here six weeks ago. They were so cute. What happens when you party for 24 <laughs> hours free? You see that? <laughs> Next to the sign. <laughs> I <laughs> own the place, okay? <laughs> oh, you have like two helmets. Okay, okay people, everyone wear your helmets because I have to save this guy from the hospital last time someone wasn't wearing a helmet. It's skateboard helmet though. I mean, it's better than nothing, better than a concussion. Okay. We're gonna go to the river now. The internet says it's 30 degrees, but it feels like 36 degrees. Definitely feels like it. By the way, this is Roel. He's a videographer, makes oh, yeah, cool yeah. videos. So check out his Instagram too. <laughs> Now we're in the Masin River, in the middle of Shirgao, the iconic river with the palm trees. And uh, you can take a canoe ride here. I don't know if we have time for that because we're trying to go somewhere else. But there is a diving platform that we want to make the most out of. So going for a jump after this cookie. Okay, it's my turn. That was fun. I hit the bottom, it's not that deep, because I went straight in and like my foot hit the bottom. Oh, you hit the bottom? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh yeah, someone yeah. taking a picture? Okay. Can you take like, a later? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh my god! <laughs> you think it's gonna hold? I don't know if it's gonna hold. It will, it will. Okay. I think you have okay. to jump that way. Yeah. Three, two, two, one. one. What's this? <laughs> I did hit the ground, spit my back. Yeah. Did you like do a cannonball last time? Yeah, that's better. Woohoo! <laughs> We didn't get on the boat because uh, we don't have a lot of time and we need to get to this other really cool spot. We left our scooter here and they're nice enough to cover the seat because it gets so hot in the sun. So we're at these rock pools that are supposed to be pretty cool at low tide. Uh, let's see how it is. So we're almost there. It's like 3.30 p.m. and honestly it's like so much nicer and it's like a little bit cooler because you know like it's a beautiful island but like you can't really enjoy it if you're sweating all the time and if you're hungover like i am because i went out yesterday like an idiot <laughs> So we 
are the wave pools, or the rock pools. By the ocean with the waves. So when we were walking over here, all we saw was like green algae, like this. Which is not that pretty. But the pool itself looks really nice and blue. And it's important to come here at low tide, otherwise if we come here at high tide, everything is underwater and it's not that good. I think what's really cool here is that these waves are coming and crashing right on the edge of the rock pool. So you probably don't want to go for a swim anywhere past this. Okay, I'm going in. There's no way my sandals are going to stay on during a backflip. Yeah, this is probably going to be like pretty painful. Got some little baby scratches. I don't even know when this happened. That was a lot of fun. When I did the backflip, one of my flip flops like flew 20, 30 foot away. I don't know how that happened. Looks like Roll found a nice hot tub over there. Looking sexy in the. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. That was pretty cool, but now we gotta head back because uh, we don't want to be driving a scooter when it gets dark because that's how accidents happen. So we're back in Katangnan, in the beach where we started the video. But now I'm gonna go to the surf spot right over there, which is like a very famous international surf spot called Cloud9. there was Cloud9, just formerly like a WSL professional rig and it's not too big today so those are not like the biggest waves you see there it can be like double over it to be massive over there but not today so basically for the last you know six weeks I've been here I've been like surfing a lot I wish I could show you guys a video of that but I don't have like a GoPro floaty back door for my GoPro so I don't have the balls to go out there with the GoPro and uh, lose it while trying to film myself surfing. You know it feels pretty surreal because today is my last day in Shergao because I'm going to another island tomorrow and I think I just saw my last sunset in Shergao for a long long time. I don't know when I'm coming back but I hope to come back. This island is so much fun. It's a really pretty island and everyone knows there's like lots of pretty islands in the Philippines. Some would say there are probably even prettier ones like up north in El Nido. But there's just so much to do here. There's like, you can surf, but even if you don't surf, there's just a good vibe about this place. The people are so chill. Uh, there's tons of nightlife and stuff to do at night. So I've been going out a lot for the last six weeks uh, with friends that I've made over the last couple of years. And also the travelers that come to Shergao are like a different a bit different from like your average Southeast Asian backpacker. It's like more slow travelers, people taking it easy. There have been a lot of people that I've known that have been here for like six weeks, the same time as I've been, and are all like <laughs> leaving soon as well. Like I go out here and I don't just go out with like other backpackers, which is uh, often what I find myself doing in a lot of other Asian countries. I go out here with the locals, like I've become really good friends with a lot of the locals and we all go out together and it's just like such a good vibe. Here's like a glimpse of the nightlife of Shirgao for like everything else that happens uh, when the cameras are not rolling. It's a fun place. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! 
If you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see real-time travel updates, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Nandir on the Go.